Mr. Jefferson, sir. You uh, left your notebook downstairs in the bar. Oh, thanks, Ralph. I bet there's a lot of important things in this book. Oh, right, Ralph. Addresses, phone numbers, appointments, uh, tax receipts. <laughs> Losing this could have cost you a lot of money. Uh, I think it already has. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you very much, sir. You didn't have to. Oh, well, in that But can... since you went to all the trouble. <laughs> Say, have you heard the news about Charlie? He's moving. Yeah, I know. I hear he's really happy about it. Happy? No, ma'am. He's crushed. See you later, Ralph. Oh, why? <laughs> I understand he's got a wonderful new place. It must be new. He didn't have it five minutes ago. Bye, Ralph. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Ralph. Are you sure about that? Yes, ma'am. That's why Charlie was so upset. Mr. Miller just up and gave his lease to somebody else. You don't say. Uh, does Charlie know who this somebody else is? No, but I'm sure it must be somebody pretty big. Or someone pretty small. <laughs> we'll see you later, Ralph. <laughs> you lied to me, George. You said Charlie was happy about moving out. I said happy, not thrilled. <laughs> George, Charlie's your friend. How can you throw him out in the cold? Come on, Wheezy. It ain't cold in Tahiti. <laughs> I can't believe you're the same man I married 30 years ago. I'm not. I'm much richer. And I don't let friendship influence my business. Huh. Hey, Lionel, what brings you here today? Oh, America's national pastime. Uh-oh. Don't tell me you're fighting with your wife, too. <laughs> oh, no. Pop baseball, see? We started a team at work. And I need my old mitt for the game this afternoon. Oh, uh, hi, Lionel. Hi, Mom. Look, mm. forget about the mitt. I need your opinion. Okay, but can you hurry up, Pop? I gotta get to the game. Sure. Uh, George, leave Lionel out of this. This is a personal matter between you and me. So, if it wasn't for a personal matter between you and me, there wouldn't be no Lionel. <laughs> well, go ahead and talk to him, but you're wasting your time. He's his mother's son. He's his father's son. He's his mother's his father's son. son. His mother's son. His mother's son. times like this, I wish I was adopted. <laughs> okay, now what's going on? Okay, now look. We're having a business disagreement. I want your opinion. I want your opinion, too. That way, we'll find out who's right and why your father is wrong. <laughs> hey, we that ain't fair. Maybe I could just borrow a minute. No, no, wait, no, 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 no. This is important. George, would you be willing to let Lionel settle this thing one way or the other? Sure, like I said, he's his father, son. <laughs> oh, don't start that again. <laughs> All right, don't tell him who thinks what. Just let the issue speak for itself. Okay. Now, Lionel, I want you to know, whatever you decide is fine. You may not agree with me, but I'll understand. <laughs> My heart will break in a thousand pieces. <laughs> But I'll understand. <laughs> After all, I'm only your mother. <laughs> okay, Weezy, you want to play dirty, huh? Come here, Lionel. <laughs> if you agree with me, I will match your weekly salary. <laughs> <laughs> you actually expect to bribe your own son with cash? Okay, I'll throw in a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please, just give me the facts. Okay, Lionel, these are the facts, pure and simple. Okay, there's this hard-working businessman who's just trying to make an honest living. Honest? <laughs> That's a laugh. Will you let me finish? You cut me off right in the middle of my story. Please, George, your Lionel is a little old for fairy tales. This ain't no fairy tale, it's business. Well, if you call it business, I'm sorry I ever got involved with Jefferson Cleaners. Ha! You ain't half as sorry as I am. I should have my head in <laughs> Save yourself the trouble. I can tell you what they'll find. Nothing. That's right, because I know what I'm doing. I know what you're doing, too, George. And I think it's completely unethical. Look, ethics ain't got nothing to do with this. This is business. You call it business, I call it the shack. I don't care what you call it. I call it making money, and that's the bottom line. Money. Ain't that right, Lionel? Lock, lock. <laughs> hey, see what you've done? You drove your own son out of the house. <laughs>